I really do wish there were pictures of the sword's weapons in their respective pages, be it when Zale is holding them with his model and slash or just as their icons. It's nice to see Zale holding the sword weapon if possible mainly because when you upgrade weapons they tend to look different plus have effects added to them. It will feel like quite a bit of work to collect pictures, but it would feel nice to see them and to recognize them for their name. I accept the challenge. I admire your resolve. Let's be off then. Welcome everyone to the ultimate weapon guide for the last story. Having played this game through many times and having tried to collect every single weapon in the game, I found many of the info around the internet were missing or fragmentary. In this video we will check out most of the weapons in the last story, what they do, if they evolve into other weapons and most importantly where to find them. I say most weapons because some of them will be left out for certain reasons. First, as you all probably know, the last story offered an online mode where you could win rare items and unique weapons. Since the online mode is not available anymore, I will not cover those weapons. Second, I was able to obtain all weapons available offline with one exception. If you're a veteran of this game, you probably guessed that it. it's the Fable Divine Poet. Now, while I've read lots of people saying where it can be found and how, I've still yet to see any video proof of the weapon in someone's inventory and the weapon actually being found. Because there's no proof that the weapon is actually obtainable, I will cover it in the list, but it's not a confirmed one. If you, watching this video, actually have a Divine Poet and the capability to record video footage of it, you can send it to me and I will add it to the video. More on that at the end. Before we begin, let me tell you how the video will be structured. We'll go through the weapons in alphabetical order. For each weapon, we'll look at four things. 1. How it looks like. 2. What its effect is when powered up at max level. 3. The easiest ways to find it. And 4. If it can be evolved into another weapon. If you're looking for a specific weapon, timestamps are in the description. And hopefully I don't need to say it, but heavy spoiler warning for the weapons Emperor, Thrave and Zanlens. And now, let's start with the list. Affection Dagger The Affection Dagger is a Yurik only weapon. It raises its casting speed by 80% and its SP accumulation rate by 30%. It can only be obtained by evolving the Memento Dagger. Airblade the Airblade is a physical weapon that has a 30% chance of recovering 25% of the user's HP with every attack. It's a common drop from the Ice Maruk on Arena Season 2, but is also found from enemies and chests later on. Argonan Dagger The Argonan Dagger is a magic weapon with light element. It increases casting speed by 80%, but only in max spirit. There is only one Argonan Dagger in the game. It is found in this chest in Chapter 42. Axe The Axe is a joke weapon that has a 1% chance of inflicting instant death. It's a reward from the old man of the river after bumping your head on 50 signs. Black Hole The Black Hole is a physical weapon with ice element. It makes tail skills gauge refill twice as fast. It can only be obtained by evolving a blue blade. Blade the blade is a physical weapon that has a 5% chance of dealing 2 times damage. It can be bought at the tavern shop in chapter 4. And at the artisan weapon shop in chapter 4. Dale and Dagran also begin the game with this weapon. Bloodsword. The Bloodsword is a physical weapon that heals the user for 50% of the damage done on back attack. Also has a 5% chance of stealing the enemy's items with every hit. An easy place to find one is on chapter 16 on this battle with the damage circle. The mage who casts it commonly drops Bloodswords. It can also be found later in the game as a common drop or in chests. Blue Blade The Blue Blade is a physical weapon with ice element. It makes the ill skills gauge refill twice as fast. It can only be obtained by evolving a fang. It evolves into the Black Hole. Blunt Copper Sword The Blunt Copper Sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It's usually sold for money. It's commonly found from enemies or treasure chests. It evolves into the Blunt Silver Sword. Blunt Silver Sword The Blunt Silver Sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It's usually sold for money. It's commonly found from enemies or treasure chests. It evolves into the Blunt Gold Sword and it's the evolution of the Blunt Copper Sword. Blunt Gold Sword. 
The blunt gold sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It's usually sold for money. It's commonly found from enemies or treasure chests. It evolves into the blunt diamond sword and it's the evolution of the blunt silver sword. Blunt diamond sword. The blunt diamond sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It's usually sold for money. It's commonly found from enemies or treasure chests. It evolves into the blunt truth sword and is the evolution of the blunt gold sword. Blunt truth sword. The blunt truth sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It's usually sold for money. It can only be found by evolving a blunt diamond sword. Bottle. The bottle is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting days. It can only be found on chapter 28 at night by seeing a man near the flaming lizard. Caliburn. The Caliburn is a physical weapon with light element. It also raises the critical hit rate by 20%. It can only be found by evolving a sanctuary. Chair. The chair is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting silence. It's a reward from the old man of the river after slipping a hundred times. Chaos Blade. The Chaos Blade is a physical weapon that at max spirit gives two effects, reducing damage while guarding by 30% and a constant HP regeneration effect for 0.5% of the max HP per second. While it can be rarely dropped by some enemies, there is one guaranteed Chaos Blade in the game. It is dropped by Barrett on chapter 34. It evolves into the Stranger. Crescent Moon The Crescent Moon is a physical weapon that has a 80% chance of dealing 1.2 damage. It can commonly be found on this chest in chapter 5. Dagger The dagger is a magic weapon that has an 80% chance of dealing 1.2 magic damage. It can be bought at the tavern shop in chapter 4. And at the artisan weapon shop in chapter 4. Yurik, Mirania, Lowell, and Kalista all start with this weapon. Death. The death is a physical weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting instant death and doubles the amount of damage dealt with slash. The best way to find a death is to defeat chapter 20's boss, Nebulus. He always drops a cursed death. Defender. The defender is a physical weapon that gives the user a 75% damage reduction while guarding and a 10% chance of receiving no damage while guarding. A defender is always dropped in the corridor fight in chapter 26 alongside a helo. It is also commonly dropped in arena season 2. Demon. The demon is a physical weapon that gives the user a chance of granting a life upon defeating an enemy. It can be found as a rare item from this chest in chapter 24 as a question mark sword. Some reptiles afterward can also drop it as a question mark sword. Divine Poet. The Divine Poet is a physical weapon that apparently has a 30% chance of inflicting charm. It's supposedly found during the last fight of chapter 35 as a question mark sword. Honestly, I've never seen it. Not even the item roulettes. East Wing The East Wing is a physical weapon that has a 20% chance of inflicting petrify and doubles the amount of damage dealt with slash. There is only one East Wing in the game. It is found on the ground while backtracking after the final boss alongside the West Wing. Emperor the Emperor is a physical weapon that has a 30% chance of recovering 5% of damage dealt, but sets the user's lives to 1. It is dropped by Zeral after defeating him on chapter 38. Dagran also starts a new game plus with this weapon. Enchanter The Enchanter is a magic weapon that has a 10% chance of recovering 10% HP with every hit. It can be bought in the Arshtar Worship Shop on Chapter 17, in the Prison Shop on Chapter 18, in the Tavern Shop on Chapter 19, in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 19, In the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31.
and in Zoran shop on chapter 34. Fallen Angel The Fallen Angel is a physical weapon with star element. It also multiplies vertical slice damage by 1.5. There is only one Fallen Angel in the game. It is given by Count Targanen and as such cannot be missed. Fang The Fang is a physical weapon with Ice Element. It is dropped by the Doppelganger boss in Chapter 14 and as such cannot be missed. It evolves into the Blue Blade. Flame Repted the Flame Reptid is a physical weapon with fire element. It also multiplies damage to Reptids by 1.6. There is only one Flame Reptid in the game. It is dropped by the Reptid Queen boss in the optional chapter 24. Frying Pan The Frying Pan is a Zoke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting charm. It's a reward from the Old Man of the River after bumping into people 100 times. General Sword. The General Sword is a physical weapon with no attributes. It is dropped by Giant Maruk on Chapter 35. It is also dropped by Giant Spider on Chapter 36, and can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. Gladiator. The Gladiator is a physical weapon that raises the critical hit rate by 20%. It is found as a common drop in chests in the first half of the game. Grandswell. The Grandswell is a physical weapon with nature element. It also ignores the frontal guard of spiders. It is dropped by the Kraken boss in the optional chapter 25. It evolves into the Wooden Grand. Guardian Blade. The Guardian Blade is a physical weapon with nature element. It also raises the critical hit rate by 30%. It can commonly be found after the Cougars in Ladzulis Town. After the Cougars in Mysterious Forest, and it's always obtained by completing a replay of Tower of Trials. It evolves into the Guardian Fang. Guardian Fang. The Guardian Fang is a physical weapon with natural element. It also raises the critical hit rate by 30%. It can only be obtained by evolving a Guardian Blade. Gurak Blade The Gurak Blade is a physical weapon that deals 1.6 damage on Gurak and double damage on Vertical Slice. It can be found as a common drop from Gurak's starting from Chapter 26. It can also be bought from the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31. and can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. It evolves into the Magmarak. Gurak Dagger. The Gurak Dagger is a magic weapon that has a 30% chance of dealing triple magic damage. It can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 19. In the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31. and from the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. Gurak Edge The Gurak Edge is a physical weapon that multiplies damage to Gurak by 1.6. It also doubles vertical slice damage. It can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 19. In the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31. and from the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. Hammer The Hammer is a dope weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting silence. It is a reward from the Old Man of the River after bumping your head into 20 signs. Hilo 
The Heal-All is a physical weapon that has an 80% chance of healing 10% of the user's HP with every attack. While it can be found in mid-game tests and enemies, there's a guaranteed one in the corridor fight in Chapter 26 alongside a defender. Ho. The Ho is a joke weapon that has a 1% chance of inflicting instant death. It's the reward for Find the Coins mission that can be done as early as Chapter 4. First find this boy in Soft Castle Plaza and agree to find 6 coins. The first coin is immediately west of the boy. The second coin is south of the arena. The third coin is in Central Plaza. The fourth coin is in the market. The fifth coin is in Fountain Plaza. And the sixth coin is just south of Castle Gate Plaza. The boy will then give you the weapon. Justice. The Justice is a physical weapon that has a 10% chance of recovering 50% of their user's HP during a chain. It also makes chains easier to maintain. It can be bought in the Artisan Shop on Chapter 31. In Zoran Shop on Chapter 34. And in the Merchant Shop on Chapter 35. Karma. The Karma is a physical weapon with fire element. It is dropped from the Mystic Spider in Chapter 15. It evolves into the Sunblade. Killer Cutter. The Killer Cutter is a physical weapon that has a 5% chance of inflicting instant death. It can be bought at the Tavern Shop in Chapter 4. And at the Arthur's and Weapon Shop on Chapter 4. It evolves into the Nightmare. Kitchen Knife. The Kitchen Knife is a joke weapon that has a 5% chance to turn 30% of the damage dealt into gold. It is a reward from the Old Man of the River after bumping into people 150 times. Night Sword. The Night Sword is a physical weapon that boosts damage to beasts and spiders by 1.4. It can be bought in the Mercenary Boat Shop on Chapter 12, in the General Ashtar Worship Shop on Chapter 17, in the Prison Shop on Chapter 18, in the Tavern Shop on Chapter 19, and the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 19. Ladle The Ladle is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance to turn 30% of the damage dealt into gold. It is the reward from finding the missing Cat Mary mission, which can be done as soon as you enter the castle the first time. First, climb this ladder in Lazarus Town and talk to the boy up top and accept to find this missing cat. Then talk to the fortune teller near the tavern for a hint. Next go to Fountain Plaza and follow the cat there up to a barrel that you can inspect. Do so to complete the mission. Lens. 
The lance is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting petrify. It is a reward from the old man of the river after bumping your head into 100 signs. Lapis Lazuli. The Lapis Lazuli is a physical weapon with star element. Gathering burst damage is also increased by 5 times. It can be found inside a chest in chapter 22. Leak. The Leak is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting sticky. It is a reward from the old man of the river after bumping into people 50 times. Lightning Axe. The Lightning Axe is a physical weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting paralysis and a 30% chance of adding a lightning strike for every attack. It can only be found by evolving a para axe. Magic Dagger. The Magic Dagger is a magic weapon that has a 10% chance of recovering 25% of damage taken while guarding. It can be bought in the Mercenary Bot Shop on Chapter 12. Magmarak. The Magmarak is a physical weapon that deals double damage on Gurak and double damage on Vertical Slice. It can only be found by evolving a Gurak Blade. Memento Dagger. The Memento Dagger is a Uric only weapon. It raises its casting speed by 80%. It is the reward for Chapter 14 and as such cannot be missed. It evolves into the Affection Dagger. Nameless. The Nameless is a physical weapon with Ice Element. It also has a 20% chance of ignoring the enemy's defense. It can only be found as a common drop from the Ice Maruk in Arena Season 2. It evolves into the Nameless Nothingness. Nameless Nothingness. The Nameless Nothingness is a physical weapon with Ice Element. It also has a 20% chance of ignoring the enemy's defense. It can only be found by evolving the Nameless. Nightmare. The Nightmare is a physical weapon that raises SP accumulation by 15%. It is dropped by the last Cocoon boss in Chapter 39 and as such cannot be missed. It is also the evolution of the Killer Cutter. North Wing. The North Wing is a magic weapon that raises the casting speed of the user by 20% and boosts magic damage by 1.6. It is dropped by Zesha on Chapter 40 and as such cannot be missed. Ogre Hammer The Ogre Hammer is a physical weapon that ignores Ogre's defenses and has a 10% chance of adding a natural attack for every hit. It can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 19. The Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31. In the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. And it's also dropped by an ogre in chapter 11. Paladin. The Paladin is a physical weapon with light element. It also recovers 10% of damage taken while guarding. It is dropped from the Shade Boss in chapter 22, and as such cannot be missed. It can also be bought in the Merchant Shop on chapter 35. And in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. Parax. The Parax is a physical weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting paralysis. It is dropped from the Maruk boss on Chapter 11 and as such cannot be missed. It can be bought in the Mercenary Boat Shop on Chapter 12. In the Ashtar Worship Shop on Chapter 17. In the prison shop on chapter 18. In the tavern shop on chapter 19. In the artisan weapon shop on chapter 19. It evolves into the lightning axe. Phantom sword. The Phantom Sword is a physical weapon that has 80% chance of dealing triple damage on humans and a 10% chance of inflicting death. It can only be found during the first playthrough on the Haunted Mansion. When Dale is alone, step into the next room and quickly seek right then up at the painting when prompted. The Phantom Sword will get stuck in a wall and can then be picked up as a cursed weapon.
pitchfork. The pitchfork is a dog weapon that has a 5% chance of inflicting paralysis. It is a reward from the old man of the river after slipping 20 times. Rapier. The rapier is a physical weapon that boosts vertical slice diffuse damage by 1.5. There is only one rapier in the game. It is dropped by the necromancer boss in chapter 19. Reptid Edge. The Reptid Edge is a physical weapon that deals double slash damage and boosts damage to Reptid by 1.6. It can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 19. In the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 31. And from the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 41. Rising Sun The Rising Sun is a physical weapon that has a 30% chance of ignoring the enemy's defense during a chain. There is only one Rising Sun in the game. It is found on the first playthrough of the Mysterious Forest. Check this fountain to spawn it. Rogue Edge The Rogue Edge is a physical weapon that deals triple slash damage and has a 8% chance of stealing the enemy's item with every hit. It can be bought at the Tavern Shop in Chapter 4. And at the Arthur's and Weapon Shop on Chapter 4. Siren also starts the game with two rogue edges. Rune Blade. The Rune Blade is a physical weapon that has a 5% chance of dealing double damage. It can only be obtained by evolving a blade. Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is a physical weapon with light element. It also raises the critical hit rate by 20%. There is only one Sanctuary in the game. It's a common drop from the first Reptid Gladiator on Chapter 34. It evolves into the Caliburn. Sixfold Fiend. The Sixfold Fiend is a physical weapon with darkness element. It also deals double damage on humans. It can only be found by evolving Zoran's sword. Sorcerer. The Sorcerer is a magic weapon that raises the user's casting speed by 20%. It also has a 30% chance of dealing 1.2 damage. It can be bought in the Merchant Shop on Chapter 35. And from the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. Softwing. The Softwing is a magic weapon that raises the user's casting speed by 50%, but only max spirit. It also boosts magic damage by 1.2. It is dropped by Zesha on Chapter 40, and as such cannot be missed. Speed Star. The Speed Star is a physical weapon that boosts the user movement speed by 15% and deals double damage on mages. It is dropped by the boss Marbus on chapter 16 and as such cannot be missed. Starburst The Starburst is a physical weapon with fire element. It also boosts Gale's Diffuse damage by 4 times the base value. It can only be obtained by evolving the Sunblade. Stranger The Stranger is a physical weapon with Star Element. It also boosts the user movement speed by 15% and deals double slash damage. It can only be found by evolving a Chaos Blade. Sunblade The Sunblade is a physical weapon with Fire Element. It also boosts Gale Diffuse damage by 4 times the base value. It can only be obtained by evolving the Karma. Trave. The Trave is a physical weapon that has a 80% chance of recovering 15% of the user HP. There is only one Trave in the game. It is given to you by Dagran after you defeat him, and as such cannot be missed. Undead Edge. The Undead Edge is a physical weapon that boosts damage to Undead by 1.8. It also has a 5% chance of granting a life upon defeating an Undead. It can be bought in the Artisan Weapon Shop in Chapter 19.
in the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 31. And from the Artisan Weapon Shop on Chapter 41. West Wing The West Wing is a physical weapon that has a 20% chance of inflicting Sticky. It also overcomes the Frontal Guard of Spiders. There is only one West Wing in the game. It is found on the ground while backtracking after the final boss alongside the East Wing. Wisdom Dagger The Wisdom Dagger is a magic weapon that grants the user a 20% chance of receiving no damage while guarding. It is obtained after the first playthrough of Chapter 23, Tower of Trials, and as such cannot be missed. Witchcraft The Witchcraft is a magic weapon that raises the user's casting speed by 20% and their SP accumulation by 30%. There is only one Witchcraft in the game. It is dropped by the Barret boss on Chapter 40 and as such cannot be missed. Wooden Club The Wooden Club is a joke weapon that has a 10% chance of inflicting days. It is a reward from the old man of the river after slipping 50 times. Wooden Grand The Wooden Grand is a physical weapon with natural element. It also ignores the frontal guard of spiders. It can only be obtained by evolving the Grand's will. Zant Lance The Zant Lance is a physical weapon that turns normal arrows into burst arrows and boosts the SP accumulation of the user by 30%. To obtain the Zan Lance, you must finish the fight against Zangorak with it equipped. While it is required to steal the weapon from him to break his shield, you don't have to finish the fight with it. As such, it can be missed. To have Zangorak drop the lance, there are several ways. 1. Wait for him to throw the lance, then quickly run to it and equip it. 2. Guard counter any of his attacks. 3. Inflict sleep on Zangorak with a prank banana. Zoran Zord Zoran Zord is a physical weapon with darkness element. It is the reward for a trading quest, which can be started as soon as chapter 4. First talk to Ariella and to get Ariella's handmade launch. Then find a boy near the river and trade the launch with the Absorbent Towel. Next, find the man in Artisan's Way and trade a towel for the book Art of Magic. Then trade a book with a boy in the castle library for the book Rules of Nobility. Next, find the woman in Castle Plaza who will trade a book for a jewel. Then, find the woman in the first floor of the Great Hall and trade a jewel for Zoran's Voyage Log. Finally, when you will be granted access to the depths in chapter 21, go to the dungeon instead and trade Zoran's voyage log with Zoran for the weapon.
It evolves into the Sixfold Fiend. Standard Crossbow. The Standard Crossbow has a 20% chance of dealing 8 times normal damage and a 20% chance of inflicting paralysis with an headshot. Zale starts the game with this crossbow. Deadly Crossbow. The Deadly Crossbow has a 30% chance of dealing 8 times normal damage and a 80% chance of inflicting death with an headshot. It can be found in Chapter 19. To get it, wait for the scene where Oris falls down a pit. Quickly look up to see some stalactites. Shoot them with a the burst arrow. Then wait for Ares to fall in the pit. Finally drop in the pit and you will find the chest with the crossbow. Fast crossbow. The fast crossbow has a 30% chance of dealing 8 times normal damage. It does half damage than the other crossbows, and its normal arrows cannot interrupt mages, but can fire as fast as you can press A. It can only be found as a rare drop from the lesser shade boss on the optional chapter 21. Because it drops as a question mark crossbow, save before the boss and appraise the crossbow after the fight. If it's not the fast crossbow, reload the save. Sniper crossbow. The Sniper Crossbow has a 30% chance of dealing 12 times normal damage and deals triple damage on headshot. It can be found as a common drop from the Lesser Shade boss on the optional chapter 21. Because it drops as a question mark crossbow, save before the boss and appraise the crossbow after the fight. If it's not the Sniper Crossbow, reload the save or buy it from the Artisan Weapon Shop on chapter 31. Or from the Artisan Weapon Shop on chapter 41. Well, there you have it. These are all the weapons I could find in the last story. On the subject of missing weapons, I'd really like to add them to the video. The weapons that were missing are these. Take a look at this list and see if you have any. If you do and want to help, I'll leave information in the description below on how you can do that. And that was the ultimate weapon guide for the last story. I'd really appreciate if you leave a like or subscribe to my channel as this video took months of hard work to be done. It's the least you can do if you want to see more of the last story content. And as usual, see you all in the next video.